Are you stuck on this Microsoft account screen for Windows 10 setup? Keep watching for several different methods to get past this screen without a Microsoft account. There are nine different methods in this video to bypass the Microsoft account requirement. Use chapters to skip ahead if needed. Starting with method one, the fastest and easiest. It could stop working one day, but don't worry if it does. There are other methods later in the video. Hi Muting there. Cortana, Cortana, which is optional. And then pick your region. And keyboard layout, I skip this. Need to get to the Microsoft account screen. And here we are. Simply enter no at thankyou.com and click next. Enter any password and click next again. Oops, something went wrong. So this email account has been banned and basically gets you out of the Microsoft account requirement process. Here you create a normal user account, password, and proceed as usual. For privacy settings, I like to disable all of these and then click accept. And then we'll skip this also and say not now to Cortana and give it a minute to go through the rest of the setup here. It's finishing your user account setup and it's going to go through that black screen there and getting ready. And again, if this doesn't work or you don't want to use this method, keep watching because there are more methods coming later in the video. And also, if this one stops working, you can use those other methods. Okay, let's get on to method two. Start by unplugging a wired network cable if you're using a wired network connection. With that cable unplugged on a desktop, it will say not connected, and you can click I don't have internet down at the bottom left there. And continue with limited setup. And go ahead with the normal user password process, just like on method one. And you'll eventually end up with a desktop. Reconnect your network cable and you'll be online. For a laptop with Wi Fi, look for a key combo to disable or look for a physical switch. Consult your user manual if needed. So, with laptop Wi Fi disabled, when you go through the region and keyboard selection here, skip. And now it may still show a wired network interface, but you can also click down at the bottom left there. I don't have internet. Click continue with limited setup. And here we go, enter your username, password as usual, eventually you'll end up at the desktop. Turn your Wi-Fi back on with the switch or key combination. Again, look at your manual. Another possibility is unplugging your router or modem. When you go through the setup process with the internet off, you will see no internet, and you can click at the bottom left, I don't have internet. You may see nearby Wi-Fi networks, just click I don't have internet again, down at the bottom left. And it will continue. Now you can click continue again. Finish your user account setup. When you get to desktop, plug that cable back in. This one will help if you don't want to unplug your router. Press Shift F10 after Cortana comes up. Type ipconfig space slash release and press enter. Now click back on the blue color to resume. And just continue setup like normal. It will say no internet. You click I don't have, click continue. Enter your username and password like normal. Go through the rest of the setup process and you'll be at the desktop. Now you've got a reboot to restore internet access. You can see no internet there. After we reboot back at the desktop, you can answer yes or no there depending on if it's your own network or not. And we're online. We can load up some YouTube videos. Method six is just another way to do the same thing. Shift F10, DEV, mgmt.msc and press enter. Wait for device manager. Expand network adapters and on each one you want to right click and disable and then click yes and do that for every one in there. Now click back on the blue background and resume. Click next on your language and you won't see any network interfaces. Click I don't have internet and click continue with limited setup. Go ahead with your user account, password, and everything. And you end up at the desktop. Now, to get those back on, you've got to right-click the Start menu, go into Device Manager, 
expand network adapters. You'll see more things under there now, but right click and enable device on each one that's got that little downward pointing arrow there. And you'll have to answer again if you trust the network or not. And you are online. You can do whatever you need to do. It's all done and ready to go. These last two methods apply only to Windows 10 Pro. Windows 10 Pro setup has no Cortana. Let's go through the setup screens. Just a moment. Now we have some important work. Magic, turn off. This part of setup, just a moment again. And here you go, setup for personal use or organization. So Windows 10 Pro at the bottom left there has an offline account button that you can simply click and then click limited experience and enter your username and password like normal. Click next and click next and then you'll end up at the desktop no problem. This last method uses setup for an organization. And you get to that screen, click setup for an organization, click next. Click on domain join instead. And you'll be going through the regular user account setup process once you click continue and you're at the desktop. You can shut it down. You're good to go. See video description and pin comment. I will update them if anything stops working and comment below which method worked best for you. Thank you for watching. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications.